Hi folks, welcome to Metabox Tutorials. Today, we're going to find out how to filter posts on archive page using custom taxonomies. This is an archive page for example. As you can see, I have terms of a taxonomy display here. Whenever you click to one of them, the post in that term will display. Let's see which tools we need for this practice. To easily create custom post type and custom taxonomies, I installed Metabox Core plugin. It's free and available on WordPress.org. We also need some Metabox extensions to have advanced features. You can download them individually or just use Metabox AIO like I'm doing. First, we need MB custom post type and custom taxonomies to create custom taxonomies. The next one is Metabox Builder to have an intuitive UI to create custom taxonomies in the backend. Let's create a custom post type. Go to Metabox and create a new post type. Then in the admin dashboard, you will see a new book menu here. Now, create custom taxonomies for your post type. Go to Metabox. Taxonomies to create custom taxonomies. This is the one that I created. You should set a slug that is easy to remember because you will use it in the next step. Since I want to display the book's publishers as a list of options when creating a new post in book post type, move to the advanced tab and choose hierarchical. We'll display this taxonomy for the book post type, move to the post types tab and tick to choose the one you want. Now just create some terms for the created taxonomy. Here are the terms that I created. Now, when creating a new post in book, you will see the custom taxonomy here. Just enter the information and choose the corresponding publisher. Since we'll display the taxonomy term on the archive page, we will go to the theme file and edit the archive PHP file. Go to appearance theme file editor and choose the archive PHP file to add this code. In there, this is used to get the terms in the taxonomy which slug is publisher. This is used to display all those terms. Let's see how it displays on the archive page. However, the book hasn't been filtered yet, so if you click on the term now, nothing happens. We should add a function to filter posts in the next step. Still in the theme file editor, go to functions PHP and add some code. This statement does check if the user is on the archive page on front end and it runs the main query. This is to query all the posts in the term which meet these conditions. Firstly, its taxonomy must have this ID. Secondly, the term's slug needs to match the one which users have just created on the archive page. This is used to add a callback function to an action hook. Pre-get posts is the name of the hook filter. And this is a callback to add into pre-get posts. After updating the file, all the posts have been filtered by the book's publisher like this. That's the end of today's tutorial. Remember to like, share, and subscribe us for more tutorials. Bye.